Millions of Americans rely on pills to help stop back pain, but what if there was a better way? Seven's on call with Dr. Jay Adlersberg and an implant that may be able to help. That's right. It's difficult to deal with chronic back pain, and one option that patients are now turning to is this implant. It's called the Spinal Cord Stimulator Implant. It's just been updated to be rechargeable. <laughs> Brian Schindler, here with wife Debbie, has been coping with back pain for over 10 years. He's not been able to get relief. I've tried almost every other way. I've had three back surgeries, I have fusions up and down the spine, I have metal rods in, I've tried countless injections, and nothing seemed to work. The pain is in his lower back, L5-S1. It began with a car accident. Now Brian will try another way to control his pain. He'll have a minor surgical procedure which will put an implant, a spinal cord stimulator, in his back. This is where the problem is. This is where the pain is coming from. But the spinal cord stimulator is something that blocks the pain much above where the pain fibers are going to the brain. These are 16. In the OR, doctors thread electrical leads near the spinal cord and put the implant near his hip. The implant will deliver electrical impulses which will supersede the pain signals going to the brain with a more pleasant sensation. When you start to feel tingling anywhere, you let us know, okay? This newer version of the implant can be recharged as needed. The whole excitement about the rechargeable ones are that these last much longer and the patients can recharge it, you know, anywhere from once in a month to some people even much longer periods. Before Brian had the surgery, he had a trial run to see how it would work. I'd say he probably got rid of about 70% of the pain in the lower back. So it was much more man manageable and it allowed me to function much, much better. At this time, Brian says he's gotten about 50% pain relief and he still needs pain medications. Dr. Sanjay says that even though patients may still need pain drugs, the goal is to improve their quality of life. The device will not work for all back pain patients. For more, see our website, 7online.com. Shade Diana. Thank you, Thank Jay. You, Jay.